This promises to be a wonderful dessert, peach cobbler. This is everything that we're gonna need. Yes, peach cobbler. So let's just get started. I'm making a very small peach cobbler. I started out with three peaches. I've already peeled them and chunked them and pitted them, took the pits out. And so now I'm going to add my three peaches to my saucepan because I'm going to cook that. Here's the peaches. Okay, so we're gonna start that warming up on the stove and I'm going to go ahead and measure out my sugar. Okay, I'll need a half a cup of sugar. Okay, I've got my eight teaspoon of salt and my half a cup of sugar. Put that in with the peaches. These peaches were rather sweet. I will taste them after I am done and we'll see just how sweet they are because you're supposed to add sugar to the crust as well. And I may take some of that sugar out because the worst thing is to have a peach cobbler that's overly sweet when the peaches, peaches are wonderful in themselves. So you don't wanna cover it up with a bunch of sugar. I am going to use my Polish pottery that I got directly from Poland. I don't use this very often, only for very special dishes, such as peach cobbler. Oh, I love it. So we're going to put three tablespoons of butter in here and then put it in the preheating oven. So far, I don't have the little, my little, I call it my easy bake oven. You can kind of see it right there in the background. Anyway, so here's the butter. I just put it in there and then I'm gonna go preheat the oven to 350. I'm gonna put this in here and the butter is gonna melt. So work smart, not hard. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. I just going over to the Easy Bake Oven. My peaches are boiling. I'd say they're ready. Okay, there's my peaches, they're boiling. And now we're gonna make our mixture. Check out how fast this goes. This was the bowl that the peaches were in. I'm actually going to put my uh, dry ingredients in here. So, well, okay, dry ingredients and, okay, my milk. So half a cup of milk, a half a cup of flour. Ooh, look at that go. Uh, we're gonna put a half a cup of sugar. Remember I said taste the peaches before you decide how much sugar to put in. We're gonna use one teaspoon baking powder, leveled off, of course. Okay. We're gonna stir this mixture up. Our butter is melted in our tiny little casserole dish. We have a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of sugar, one one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a cup of milk, and then we're gonna add a secret ingredient. Secret except for us. Okay, our peaches are hot. We have our melting butter in our small casserole dish. In here, we have a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a cup of milk, and now we're gonna add the secret ingredient, vanilla beans. And then we'll sprinkle it with cinnamon and we'll be ready to put it in the oven. Okay, so here's my vanilla bean. I am just going to cut it. And then I'm gonna slice it down the center. Scrape out the vanilla beans. Okay, and with the unsharp end of your knife, you're just going to rake it over the inside. Then we're gonna stir that vanilla bean up in there, and then we'll be ready to pour it into our dish. Okay, so we'll pour it into the dish. 
Okay, so there it is in the dish. Okay, now it's time to add our fresh peaches onto the top. Okay, here we are. We'll put this in our easy bake oven. And we're gonna bake that for about 40 minutes. Okay, out of the easy bake oven comes our fresh peach cobbler. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at how the cinnamon caramelized on the top. Look at that. Look at this, guys. Oh, get out the ice cream. Let's dig in.